All right, in today's myth called Theseus and the Minotaur, uh, we're going to learn the word labyrinth. Can you say that word with me three times? Labyrinth, labyrinth, labyrinth. A labyrinth is a maze. This would be a picture of a maze. Um, and in this maze, in our story, there is a mythical creature who lives inside here. Today's read aloud does not have any Greek gods or goddesses in it, but it does have this mythical creature who lives inside a labyrinth and a very courageous or brave person who does good deeds. Listen carefully to find out what the creature looks like and who the brave, courageous hero is. Prince Theseus was the son of a ruler of Athens, King Aegeus. Theseus was raised by his mother in a town far away from Athens and did not know his father in his youth or as a boy. When he was old enough to meet his father, Theseus journeyed to Athens and had many adventures. He proved himself a fierce warrior. Finally, when he reached Athens, he was shocked to hear that his father was the king, King Aegeus. Next week, King Minos and his ship will return to Athens after nine years, King Aegeus said. This will be the most terrible time for our people when they see those black sails. Black sails? Who is this King Minos? And what happens when the ships come from Athens? Asked Prince Theseus. His father answered, King Minos, who rules the great island of Crete, has the mightiest navy in, and army on earth. Several years ago, his son was visiting here in Athens. There was a terrible accident and the young man never returned to Crete. I sent word to Crete explaining what had happened and how sorry we were, but King Minos would not listen. He and his warriors attacked and conquered Athens. My son was 18 when he went to Athens. Every nine years, I shall send you a ship with black sails. This ship will take seven of your Athenian men and seven Athenian women, each my son's age, to Crete. There, I shall send those Athenians into the labyrinth. What's a labyrinth, father? Theseus asked. It is an enormous maze of twisting tunnels and rooms cut into the hillside near Minos Palace. Minos commissioned the master inventor, Daedalus, to design it. Once inside, a person becomes hopelessly lost. Worse yet, living in that maze is the Minotaur, a monster that is half bull and half man. The Minotaur knows every inch of the maze and hunts down whomever enters there. Many times, King Minos has sent his black shipped, black sailed ship to carry away seven of our young men and women. And none of them ever gets out of the labyrinth. And now next week, the black sailed ship will return. Theseus said, Father, you know my skills as a warrior. I am 18 years old. I will take the place of one of these youths and stop the Minotaur before it can strike again. No, my son, I will not let you risk your life, 
King Aegeus replied, Father, how can I continue when I know I can stop it? I am the person with the best chance against the beast. Finally, Theseus convinced his father and told him that if he was successful, he and the other Athenians would return on King Minos' ship, but with white sails. A week later, the prince and the other young Athenians boarded King Minos' ship. When they reached the island of Crete, guards led them to King Minos' throne in the palace. There Minos sneered. It is fitting that the son of a king of Athens should not return to his home, just as my son did not return to his home. Theseus answered, It is more fitting that the son of a king of Athens should end this horrid business once and for all. Standing at King Minos' side, through all this was his daughter, Prince Ariadne. Oh, excuse me, Princess Ariadne. The princess was amazed to see that Theseus was not afraid. She thought, what an extraordinary man. I must save him. But how? Even I would not be safe from my father's fury or anger if he found out. Prince Ariadne needed help, so she went to the most brilliant man she knew, the man who also happened to be the creator of the labyrinth. His name was Didalus. The clever Didalus told her, it is impossible to sneak a weapon into the maze. The guards would find it and remove it, and eventually they would trace it back to you. However, if the reports of Theseus's bravery are true, he may still have a chance fighting the Minotaur. Then at least we can help him find his way out of the labyrinth. So here's what he must do. That night, Princess Ariadne went to Theseus's room in her father's palace. She told the young hero, wind this ball of string around yourself beneath your clothes so the guards will not see it. After you enter the labyrinth, tie one end of the thread to the handle of the gate and unwind the rest of it as you go through the maze. If you defeat the Minotaur, rewind the thread it will lead you back by the same route to the gate. And if you succeed, you must take me with you to Athens. For if my father ever finds out I have helped you, of course we will take you, Theseus said. Thank you, princess. The next day, after the guards closed the gate of the labyrinth behind the Athenians, Theseus told the others, Wait here. I go to seek the Minotaur. If I fail, you are no worse off. But if I succeed, we will be able to return to Athens safely. Tying the thread to the door handle and unraveling it with each step, Theseus set off into the labyrinth. Within five minutes he was hopelessly lost. Still he went on, though he knew that the half man, half bull, might be waiting for him around the next bend, or sneaking up from behind him, ready to eat him. Finally, Theseus found himself at the entrance to the great central room of the labyrinth. Resting on the stone floor at the far end was the Minotaur. It had a huge muscled body of a man, but instead of a man's head, there was the head of a bull with long sharp horns.
Theseus waited as the huge beast rushed towards him. At the very last moment, the young prince stepped to one side and vaulted, or jumped, over the monster's back. Confused at not having caught him on his horns, the minotaur turned and charged back again. Again, Theseus avoided its horns, leaping to the other side this time. Over and over, Theseus escaped the deadly horns. Each time, Theseus was moving closer to the wall of the room. Finally, as Theseus leaped aside once more, the Minotaur was unable to stop and ran with an explosive shock into the wall. Staggering, he fell to his knees. Theseus leaped upon its back and seized its great horns. He wrestled the Minotaur to the ground and eventually defeated him. Hours later, the other Athenians saw their prince emerging weary, wearily and triumphantly from the stone tunnels, untying the thread that led him back. He said quietly, let's go home. Opening the gate, which was never locked, for no one had ever returned, the Athenians stole or snuck out. The day had passed, and the city was now shadowed in night. They moved down to the harbor and found Princess Ariadne waiting for them in the shadows by the docks. They all set out for Athens, bearing glad news. Thanks to Theseus, the danger of the Minotaur was now over. However, Theseus had forgotten to change the sails from black to white. When his father, King Aegeus, saw the black sails from, the, from his perch on a cliff, he fainted and fell towards the sea. And to this day, the sea king, Aegeus, has fallen into the Aegean Sea. Why do you think King Aegeus fell forward into the sea? Who was the courageous character in today's read aloud? <laughs>